welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is a piece of standalone stained glass effect resin and put in this deep filled frame. So I've got this colouring book and it's a stained glass colouring book. I will link everything that I use in the description below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. And what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using this piece of plastic here and using that to do all the outlining on because I find that it really works quite well with the plastic. I will cover the picture that I'm going to turn into a piece of stained glass up here, as you can see, with this plastic. And then what I will be doing is taping that down to ensure that it doesn't move, because if not, it does move about and then you don't get as neat and even lines as you would like. So I'm just using a very light blue tape here. Again, I will put this in the description below for everybody. So you just need to click on the links below. And while I'm doing this, I just want to say a quick thank you to all my members. Without you, I wouldn't be able to keep this channel going and to all the people that buy me coffees. So I'm using a Sharpie and I'm going over the actual pattern now using the Sharpie. And here I am moving at lightning speed. And this isn't actually speeded up. This is how quickly I work. <laughs> I wish. So I'm just putting all the details in to make sure that I've got every bit that I need. And I've made the frame a little bit smaller because I did measure it. I'm lifting it up to make sure I haven't missed anything. Yep, I'm all happy with that. So I'm now taping it down to a piece of board. And I'm doing this for two reasons. One, it helps keep the little bit of plastic spaced out. And I have turned it over as well. So I'll be working on the actual reverse so that the... Sharpie doesn't pull up or leak into the resin when I pour the resin. I've got this leading that you use for glasses and I'm just squeezing it in, going slowly on here to make sure that it's lifted up. Now what I make sure I do is I do not touch the plastic with the tip of the actual leading pot because that way it kind of scrapes. So I allow it to kind of squeeze out and drop onto the plastic and I will just go through and follow the whole of the pattern that I've just drawn out using that leading. And here I am working on that supersonic speed again. And I didn't have any alcohol or anything else. I just love working at this speed. Making sure that I get in all the bits. And now if, it, if I put too much on, like you saw there, I did use a quick Q-tip and I cleaned it up. And it does clean up really, really simply, as you can see. And now I'm doing the edge and the background in the gold leading. This is all nice and dry now and it's not going to go anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to add my colours to it. And I've decided to do orange, red and blue and possibly just a few dots of white around as well. And I'm going to be using translucent colours because I think it's important to be able to see through it. So when you're using trans translucent colours, it's also important not to use too much because if you overuse it, then they will go opaque. And then what I shall use is I shall use a pipette and I will have a cloth as well to ensure that I can wipe off any mess that I make because I will definitely make a mess. So I'm just going to fill up the pipette, wipe off the end and I'm going to just pop it in like so with the pipette. Until it fills up, almost doming itself into the areas that I want it. Now, I'm not going to be true to life with this, uh, with colours, because that would be difficult for me to do, being colour blind. But also, I don't want to do that. I want it to be quite a bright, nice, bright looking butterfly. But what I am going to do is I am going to do the same ones each side if I get it right. I've finished filling this in now and I'm quite happy with how it's coming out. As you can see, I've got a little bit of white in here and then the blue and it's filled up quite nicely. So what I'll do is I will let this cure up now for 24 hours and then I will dome it. Now this is cured, it's ready to have its top coat on, which is its dome coat. And I've mixed up my resin, I've let it sit for about 10-15 minutes so it thickens up. 
and all I'm going to do is pop in a top coat of resin over this. And the reason I'm doing this is it gives it a little bit more thickness. I also think it gives it a slightly better shine as well and makes it feel a little bit more finished off. And then what I'll do is I'll cover that up, leave that for five minutes, check it again for bubbles, no more bubbles, then I'll let that cure overnight. And all we have to do is trim up the actual plastic because obviously the leading will stick to the plastic and we just need to trim it up and then that will stay in place. Well, as well as doing one on the plastic like this, where you leave the plastic on the back, I also did one virtually the same on wax paper. Now, wax paper is really, really useful. On the plastic, the leading sticks to it, so you can't actually take it off, but you can cut it all down. And it is still quite useful and it still gives it quite a firm finish where the wax paper is easy, as you can see, to pull off. And it pulls off both the resin and the leading as well. The only thing is with using the wax paper is, what you don't get is you don't get a shiny back finish like you do with this. You get a shiny front where I've domed it, but you don't get a shiny shiny back so it's whichever one that you really want to go for now you don't really need a shiny back on it for what i'm going to use it for there's a bit of paper stuck there but it just comes off and i'm going to pop this in here in this frame as well but i want to put some lights behind it so i'm going to pop that in there like that then i'm going to pop in the edging frame and I've got some battery operated LED lights and I'll just pop them in there randomly and then I can pop the back on like so turn it over and then I can turn the lights on but you've got a nicely lit butterfly and again you can change these colors slightly if you want to and darken them up but with the wax paper what you'll see is it does give more of an opaquey finish to these edges where it's a more duller background but either way works really really well i like both ways so i hope you've enjoyed this project i've really enjoyed it i love making these things like this it's a really nice simple design and also you can use this, you could stick it on windows, you can you can do whatever you want with it or make little separate decorations, nice and easy to follow. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Check out my join button. If you're interested in additional perks and having more contact with me and being able to email me or ask me direct questions and if you'd like to say thank you, just check out the buy me a coffee link and you can buy me a coffee as I'm saving up for a pressure pot. Thank you very much indeed. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.